Next question is from Demus134. Can meditation help increase muscle gains? Yeah, absolutely it can. Okay, so why? Now, is there a direct effect? Not necessarily, but let's examine what meditation has a profound effect on. Mm -hmm. Stress, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, chronic stress, chronic moderate, low to moderate levels of stress, raise cortisol. Cortisol in the short term produces energy, but in the long term eats away at muscle and promotes fat storage. It's a, it's a, a stress hormone, so it's burning energy, but also over time it's going to make sure that you burn less calories, become more efficient, and store more calories as body fat because, again, it's a stress response. Stress lowers testosterone, decreases insulin sensitivity, lowers growth hormone. Of course, it affects your sleep and the quality of sleep. Do all of those things have negative effects uh, or affect muscle gains at all? Absolutely. So if meditation improves your quality of life and reduces your stress, then the effects are higher testosterone, better insulin sensitivity, lower cortisol, better sleep, and therefore the results of that will be you'll build more muscle. So there's obviously there's tons of science to support um, this, that, that, that this is a fact. Now, what's tough, and Justin and I were talking off air about this the other day. That I, meditation? I, yeah, that I want, we actually were. And, uh, and That's weird. Cause, well, Justin was talking about how he just like, it's not my thing. Like, I just, I hate it. But here's, a, everybody thinks that you need to get in a quiet, dark room and cross your legs, close your eyes and hum. Yeah. You know, for- it goes, -na 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 Yeah, it's like, it, <laughs> no. it, 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 you can you can walk and meditate. It's just about being present. You can fish and meditate. Exactly. It's about being super hyper focused and present in the moment, in the now, yeah. not stressing out about months before or what's to come. It's literally being in yourself in that moment and time and not allowing all these other distractions around you. And so that can look different for many people. And the practice of that is going it's going to do a lot more than just build muscle yeah. for you. Building muscle is, is one of the the, the byproducts mm -hmm. of that, but it's also got tremendous value outside oh, of that. Oh yeah, creating that space where it, you know, it's it's this quiet, intentional uh, you're in, you're very present. Like for me, like I was talking to Adam about this, it was it was archery, and 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 so that was something where I'm out in nature, I'm by myself. You know, I set up a target, and I'm just kind of slowly, mechanically going through the process of of you know aiming, and then now I'm looking at it for quite some time. I'm trying to really like slow my heart rate down. I'm breathing really slow. I'm hyper focusing on in one direction. And uh, it, it's just, for me, it's a practice. And so like I, I utilize that as breath control. I utilize that as, you know, being very like hyper-focused in one thing. And, uh, you know, everybody has their own way of kind of dealing with this. And, and there's, again, it's great to be able to kind of get to a place where you can, you know, kind of get in that meditative, like, yeah. space where you're anywhere. That's, like, that, that, that's the ideal uh, way to do it. Um, but it, for sure, in terms of, like, countering stress and, and, and bringing that down, we've seen so much result from that. And one of, one of the clear examples of that was when I was up in Stanford and I was watching uh, Corey Schlesinger when he was still there before he went to the Suns and he had like every one of his athletes uh, monitored uh, with their stress yeah, and was he dope. was able to kind of look at all their levels like all day long and 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 write programs that were very specific to mm. what they needed based on what you know what state of stress their their body was in and they got tremendous results from yeah it. And, I, and ironically the the sons are going to go all the way uh, there you go how crazy I'm, is our that? boy is killing it no i'll tell so you cool it's one of the main reasons why i'm so consistent with working out for me it's so meditative i literally and this is why you guys see me when i come in here even when we're all working out oftentimes i'll put my headphones on it's not because I prefer the music in my headphones than to the in the gym. It's it's it blocks puts everything me, else out. It puts me yeah, more yeah. in that meditative state. Hundred percent. And I, it's it's the most meditative thing that I do. It makes me very present. I oftentimes don't think about anything else. So it's an hour of being present, and it has profound effects on me mentally and psychologically, which I know uh, can you know, will benefit me. So, and by the way, if you are on. A health and fitness journey long enough, you're going to end up here. I'm telling you right now. Yeah, you can yeah, focus you all you want on nutrition. You, you can focus on exercise. Then maybe you'll look at sleep. Mm -hmm. But at some point, you're going to get to this spiritual practice, which meditation would fall under, because at some point you're going. To, it's going to lead you there because this actually is the root of most health. It's the root because as we're present, here's why. I'm going to. I'll make a. I'll make sense of it. When you understand presence and how to be present, and you've kind of 
I don't want to say mastered that, but it's something that's a part of your practice. Your diet is naturally more balanced. Mm -hmm. Your workouts are naturally more balanced. Your sleep is much better. It actually contributes to everything in ways that everything else doesn't necessarily contribute to everything else. Yeah. 